Hey guys, welcome back. If you saw my fall FabFitFun unboxing, you saw that I got the Pure Cosmetics new collection palette in that box. Oh, it's reflecting pretty badly. And I promised you guys I was going to do a review and some kind of look with that palette. So that's what I'm doing today. And I've had some time to play with this palette a little bit and I've done a little bit of research on it and I have found out that this palette is a close dupe for Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. It's not going to be a less expensive option. This is a $50 palette, but um, you know, it's Pure Cosmetics. It's a very good company if you're looking for another option that's not Urban Decay. It is a metal palette and it opens, you know, very sturdily, I guess that's the right word. I don't know if I regret or I'm glad that I never got Naked 2. I never got Naked 2 because I thought that it wasn't warm enough for me. Regular Naked was the one that I got. And you know, this palette has given me some really, really good looks. And I do like doing a gray look sometimes. And this palette is a great one to have if you wanna do that. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. I got this look with it, um, which is a little bit warmer gray look because you do have some warmth to it, but you still have some gray going on. I'm super impressed with the quality. I have never really delved into Pure Cosmetics before this palette and I have one of their lip products from another <laughs> box opening that I have. But um, I'm just gonna swatch this for you guys and show you how buttery and how smooth it is. And we'll just go from there. The first shade we have is Butterscotch. And you can see just how easily that goes on. And the other day I swatched, I think it was Foxy from my Urban Decay Basics and it didn't go on nearly as smooth. And that's a pretty smooth color. So I was very impressed with this. The next shade is Caramel right here. And here's caramel. Okay, can you see that? It's just a beautiful color. And the next shade is macadamia. And I would compare this to virgin. And then here is, what is this? Toffee. And they're just gorgeous. Here's Virgin and here's Toasted above Toffee and there's a Half Baked which is too gold. So those are really the only ones that I have to compare them to but um, like I said the Naked 2 is actually really on point with it. Going down the line now I'm going to the next four Cocoa, Hazelnut, Macaroon, and Kahlua and that's these four and I'm just going to swatch these next. hazelnut and like there's no crumbling or fallout which I feel like you can get with Urban Decay and here's the macaroon and Kahlua these four right here which are whipped biscotti espresso and licorice I think, um, if I recall correctly, licorice is the only one that had just a little bit of chalkiness to it. Um, so we'll do whipped. I think this one swatches really, really pretty. Whipped. Okay, I'm running into no man's land here. I may have to go back down here. Biscotti. I have a scratch on my arm. <laughs> That's not pretty. Licorice. So yeah, so those two at the end, but still you can get some good pigment out of them when you use them. I'm gonna take Crave from Naked Basics and just put it above here. And you can see the pigment there is just a lot more than it is with the biscotti. So there is the entire palette, all of these. Really pretty, really impressed with the quality and like i said there are some warm shades that you can warm it up with you can see the look that i got today with this palette and i'm going to go through that demo in a little bit and um i really like it i've been able to get some really good 
dramatic and less dramatic looks with this palette. And you know, even though I'm warm toned, I typically look for warmer toned palettes, but it's really nice to sometimes do a cooler toned look. And it's nice that this has cool tones as well as some warmer tones in here to choose from. And they're not super, super cool to where they're unusable. Unus I'm gonna take you through the tutorial of what I did today. It's nothing over the top, nothing too dramatic. You know, I'm gonna go do things today with this look on and I actually did not even do a liner today, an official liner. I used licorice and just smoked it out and that's all I did and it's super, super easy. There's nothing complicated going on in this look whatsoever. It's doable for anybody. So just keep watching if you wanna see what I did here and we'll get to that right now. First, I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and using Naked 2 as my transition shade just for my crease up to my brow bone to get a good transition shade for warmth. And then I'm going to take Kahlua as just kind of a good grayish silvery color and I'm packing it onto the lid about two thirds of the way up. And this is just gonna kind of be the basis for this whole look. And you can use any colors that you have that are similar. You don't have to use this exact palette. The next shade that I'm going to use is Macaroon, and I'm just going to apply this right above that Kahlua in windshield wiper motions, just to give kind of a gradient effect. I just want it to be very subtle going from the darker Kahlua to the lighter Macaroon shade, and that darn hair will not get out of my way. And now I'm taking a blending brush and just blending those two shades into each other. And the next shade that I am taking is Whipped. And I'm putting that right over that Kahlua shade just to give a little bit of lightness to that lid. And I'm just kind of putting it right at that bottom third. And now I'm blending those colors together. Next, I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette, Butterscotch, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone right underneath the eyebrow, not too far down, especially if you have hooded lids, you just wanna do right underneath the eyebrow. And then also the inner corners. I feel like that just gives a little bit of lightness right there, and oftentimes we need that. And then I'm going to take the darkest shade in the palette, Licorice. And instead of doing an actual liner, I'm just going to smudge out and extend that lower lash line straight out and then create an outer V. So you can see I'm taking that and I'm also smudging along the top lash line. So this is more of a smudge effect rather than a precise wing that you often see people do. And now I'm smudging it along the lower lash line as well. And it just creates a nice uplifted, wider eyed effect without having to be so precise with winged liner. And now I'm also going to smudge that out with a smudging blending brush just so there's not any harsh lines. And I'm going to go back to that macaroon shade and smudge that along the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend the transition shade into those darker shades that we just put along the lid and outer corner so that there's no harsh lines. And this is the final look and it's good for daytime or wherever you wanna go. You know, that was not a difficult look to achieve and it's very wearable and you can get a ton of different looks from this palette. I am super impressed with it. A lot more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. I had never really delved into anything by Pure Cosmetics, but this makes me a little bit more curious, that's for sure. And if you have someone in your life that maybe they're not into Urban Decay, maybe they don't want naked plastered all over their palette for whatever reason, but you feel like those are pretty good palettes, this can give you that type of quality and give you a good, more subtle looking palette. It's a good option. So, you know, again, it's not a less expensive option necessarily, but it is a good option. Honestly, I actually think that the quality and the fallout is a little bit better than my Urban Decay Naked palette. I am quite surprised buy this too. I know I got this in my FabFitFun box and you get just, you know, a lot of stuff in that box, but I would pay full price for this, no problem. And I know Pure Cosmetics has um, a bunch of different palettes on their website and you can get this one and different color ranges. They may have other ones on there too, but I really like this one. So thumbs up to Pure Cosmetics. This is a good option. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you back here again. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.